Hi, welcome to SolveAndGo.com. In the next series of videos, I'm going to um, give an overview of elementary matrices, inverse matrices, and how you can obtain an inverse matrix through uh, row reducing. Let me start by talking about inverse uh, elementary matrices. Okay, an elementary matrix is a matrix obtained from the identity matrix by performing one row operation. So let's take the two by two example. We have the two by two identity matrix. And let's take the row operation of multiplying row one by two. What we get is two, zero, zero, one. This matrix on the right is an elementary matrix because we obtained it from the identity matrix by performing one row operation. Now what we can do is perform the same operation on any matrix by multiplying by the corresponding elementary matrix on the left. We have 2, 0, 0, 1. Okay, and let's do the matrix multiplication. What we get, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 0 is 6, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 0 is negative 4, 0 plus 6 is 6, 0 plus 1 is 1. And as you can see, this matrix on the right um, was obtained from this matrix here by multiplying the top row by 2. All right, let's look at the two other types of row operations. What if we switch row one and row two? The matrix you get, this is row one, let's switch it with row two. The matrix you get is zero, one, one, zero. And again, let's take our example matrix, three, negative two, six, one, and multiply it on the left by the elementary matrix we just obtained, what do we get? 0 plus 6 is 6. 0 plus 1 is 1. Uh, 3 plus 0 is 3. Negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. And what you can see is that this matrix on the right was obtained from this matrix here by switching row 1 and row 2. OK. Let's take the last type of row operation. And that's where we take one row and add a multiple of another row to it. Let's take row two and add to it three times row one. The elementary matrix we obtain, one, uh, so the first row stays the same. The second row, zero plus three times one is three. One plus three times zero is one. And on the right here, we have the elementary matrix. OK, let's apply this to our example matrix. All right, so performing the matrix multiplication, 3 plus 0 is 3. Negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. 9 plus 6 is 15. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. And checking, what you can see is that this matrix on the right here is obtained from our original matrix by taking row 2 and adding 3 times row 1 to it. So we have 6 plus 9 is 15. And then 1 minus 6 is negative 5. OK, so what we've seen is that you can perform row operations on matrices by multiplying on the left by a given elementary matrix.